Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. <laughs> to hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank Hello, you so much for joining Welcome me. I really appreciate it. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Today we Thank have so with us, and we're going really to bring, really bring her on here in just a minute, Today we have but I just want to tell you what the show is going to be about. We have Brandy Yamchura. She is the founder of Seeds of Caring. Before we get started, I want to remind you that if you uh, um, would like to, I don't know, follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko, and if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Also, all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com, and we're, we're streaming live on Facebook, although I haven't been able to do that for a while. We'll see if it works. It looks like my head's moving. I don't know. Maybe you can hear me. Maybe you can't, but we will try that. We're working on it. Uh, the other thing is, in about 10 minutes, you're going to have a chance to win free flowors from DeSantis Florist. They're going to be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. All you have to do is listen just a little bit, and you'll know the answer, and then you call in and win. It's that simple. I'll give you the number now. Don't call yet, but the number is 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. And today's episode is episode 673. Okay, so let me go ahead and introduce... My okay, guest. So First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. Brandy M. Tura is a former her. teacher and licensed Brandy social M. worker. She quickly realized after teacher, having children that it was difficult for her to give of her time to the community with her kids present, her and volunteer opportunities for her young children were far and few between. That's when she got her big idea, an organization created specifically to engage children in meaningful service. And that's when Seeds of Caring was born. Brandy brings to Seeds of Caring a rich background in education, social work, nonprofit programming, and management, and an unmistakable passion for helping others learn to help to be helpers. An unmistakable passion for when she's not proudly waving her Seeds of Caring flag, Brandy enjoys heading out of the out to the hiking flag. trails with her husband Brandy and three kids, traveling and curling up in her Clintonville home with a book and her dog, Annie. So now, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, Seeds of Caring. So now, I want to tell you a little bit about I probably should have Brandy do this, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. And <laughs> she can correct me if I get it wrong. So Seeds of Caring empowers kids to create a kinder community with their hearts, hands, and minds. And by the way, that's going to be an important phrase to remember when we do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Let me say it again. Again, Seeds of Caring empowers kids to create a kinder community with their hearts, hands, and minds. We do this by designing meaningful opportunities for kids to engage in service, social action, and community building. As kids learn about hunger in our community, make blankets for hospitalized children, or share conversation with senior center residents, they build confidence in their ability to contribute. In the end, we all benefit. Our kids develop a heart for service, our families are united by a common purpose, and our community becomes a more compassionate place to live, work, and grow. Brandy, thank you so much for being on my show this morning. Good morning, Dr. Kavitko. <laughs> Brandy, thank you so much for being Good on morning the show to you, and thank you for being on the show. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for having you me. Brandy. You're very welcome. And I'll Is tell you what, you, there? you make me seem, you make me feel completely oh. inadequate. <laughs> Because I'm thinking, <laughs> while you're out doing this with the, the community and these sure, kids, really I'm probably watching it. football. I'm probably watching um, doing something that's not really benefiting well, society. I'll tell you what. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, you but no, it certainly does make you think, and um, <laughs> it's really cool what you're doing. So uh, tell me, you know, um, I know how it got started, because we just said that. When did you start Seeds of Caring? Sure, you know, Seeds of Caring, I founded the organization so, about four and a half anyway, years ago. But no, four and a half? Does make you think. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's and your really oldest cool is... So, uh, My oldest me, is eight now. You know, okay, so when he was three and a half. Right. Okay. When did you start Seeds of Caring? And... 
it's just like you said. It's just that uh, you wanted to volunteer, but you couldn't because you had kids in tow. And, Four and a half. And so it was like, okay. and let's do something is... that we can do together as a family and also teach okay. children so how to be kind. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I had okay. I had two okay. little kids at home and, uh, at the time and one so more on the way. It's just and like I was said, really honestly a lot of reflection around what was it that I wanted my kids to grow so up to be like, like as they, you know, came into together, this world. And, and, and ultimately it came down to this. I, I wanted my kids to be kind, compassionate citizens who, when they saw something in the world they weren't okay with, they were willing to act on it. They were willing to do something about it. And my own parents had instilled in me from a very young age the importance of giving back to the community, being connected to others. And so I knew that was a key component to raising children that had that worldview. And yet it was hard to find volunteer opportunities that were appropriate for kids. Right. So, so you know, there that, you go. That's really where the idea came from. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's really cool. That's really cool. So now if your oldest is eight, your youngest would be... Work? My youngest is now three. Three, okay. Mm-hmm. So I do wonder, um, as your children age, are you going to right. change the focus so on the opportunities go. for the kids, the age <laughs> range really of the children? Cool. Or are you going to really stay cool. with the itty bitties? So now, if your oldest is eight, you know, you know we are going to stay with the with itty bitties. Our age range focus is ages okay. two to twelve. So I okay. do and wonder. And the reason we really focus in there is because that's age, typically. The age group for whom there are some age restrictions around volunteering in the community. So we think it's important to stick with those, you you know, preschool, elementary age kids. Okay. And you're a teacher. Did you teach preschool or elementary? You know, I actually taught middle school. Middle school. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I feel so bad for you having to do that. (laughs) Would you get the short straw or something when they were deciding? (laughs) <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was a licensed elementary educator, but that, that license went through okay. sixth grade. And, you're a teacher. and so I got popped in sixth grade for elementary? my student teaching. And then I found I absolutely loved that age. No, oh, okay. So I feel so okay. Bad for you. Uh, you now know why they put you in sixth you grade, right? Because the other teachers something? didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe it's seventh and eighth. Somewhere in those three uh, age groups, right, is when um, hormones are raging and kids don't think the way they don't think straight sometimes. and that's really absolutely, <laughs> okay. but you figured it out. Okay, uh, you know <laughs> I, did, I did. I did. Somehow I did. That's good for you, and that's uh, good for the kids actually. So <laughs> now, maybe it's seven, um, eight. somewhere in those is this a five hundred one c three age groups, right? Is yes, we are a nonprofit organization. Mm-hmm. And not they, once they in your presentation that you gave the notary did you ask really... if I remember right for donations, <laughs> you but you out. probably could use donations. Am I right? <laughs> absolutely, that's we are a growing organization, and and every dollar really um, helps us to grow our impact. So yes, that is, that is always incredibly helpful. So I'm going to mention it more than once today because um, once in that way if people do want to take action uh, from listening to the show, they can. So tell us how somebody can reach you or reach Seeds of Caring and how they could donate if they want to. Sure, thank you. Yes, you can um, donate right through our website. So it's just www.seedsofcaring.org. So and there's a button right on there uh, to do donate do and contribute. Uh, and as I said, so um, that, that's always incredibly helpful. Good, good, good. Because t- let's, uh, can you explain for folks listening what is a typical uh, program that you do? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, I feel like everything in this time has to be... Um, shared with the caveat of pre-pandemic and, and during the pandemic, right? So we, yes. of course, made shifts. <laughs> like Which is why you else. can't understand me because I'm wearing a mask, right? For folks listening, <laughs> what right. is a typical right. program? So that right now, during these times that we're, that we're living in, all programs are all, um, especially during this winter season when we cannot be um, outdoors together, all programs yes. are focused on Providing grown-ups with the ability (laughs) to run really meaningful service projects in their own homes with their kids. And so the way we do that is we um, work with over 40 nonprofit partners here in Columbus, and we identify what are their needs that kids and families can contribute toward. And then we craft really meaningful Mm -hmm. um, projects around those. So we build out a discussion guide for families. We um, sometimes will record videos or book read-alouds something to help the kids begin to um, understand the topic that they're, you know, the need that they're contributing toward. And then we will give families all the instructions for um, a service project. So oftentimes it will include creating some kind of an encouragement card or um, cheer card and then packing some kind of a kit or a lunch, something like that, um, 
to help one of our local nonprofit partners. That's awesome. Now, I know that uh, when you could do in person, I saw a photo that uh, you provided where uh, it looks like the group of people in the room put together all these backpacks. What was in those backpacks? Was it school supplies? Was it lunch for children who mm-hmm. don't have enough food when they get home? Yeah, um, you know, those backpacks were actually um, comfort kits for kids entering foster care. And there's a a great story behind that um, as far as the child that kind of inspired that program. Would you like me to share? Yes, yes, please. Okay, so Violet um, was five years old at the time. Um, She's been a Seeds of Caring participant for several years now, and she had come to one of our programs focused on um, providing care to kids entering the foster care system. And yes, when yes, she yes. left that program, she went home and she said to her mom, you know, I've got to do something more to help. I, I really want to find a way to help kids who are going through a hard time be able to worry less. And so her idea that she shared with her mom, she said, I want to make worry dolls for kids entering foster care so that when they go to sleep at night, they can do so with um, a, a, a few less worries in their mind. Wow. So she shared this idea with her mom, and, and through uh, working with Seeds of Caring, we developed that backpack project um, in collaboration with My Comfy Kids, a local nonprofit. And so we gathered uh, thousands. We did a huge community-wide donation drive, gathered thousands of items to put inside the backpack. Wow. And then one Saturday morning, Violet, of course, this was pre-pandemic, but Violet and about 25 other families gathered together in a big warehouse, and they packed 240 backpacks and also made 240 worry dolls to include in the backpack. Wow, that is so awesome. That's really cool. And uh, mm-hmm. for those of you watching the show at, uh, on TheReasonsWeSmell.com, I paused the photo, the slideshow, so you could see all those backpacks in, the, uh, in that room and all the proud families who put them together. So that's really neat. Now, I mentioned uh, earlier that we're going to be doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day, and yeah, that, that I so reminded awesome. people that's that really cool. and, uh, one of the things they might the want show, to remember is that Seeds of Caring empowers kids to create a kinder community with their hearts, backpacks, hands, and minds. In that, in that room and we're going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day right now, but before we do, we'd so like you to really listen neat. to this. Now, this station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kovitko's question of the day. All right. So today we've been speaking with Brandy Yimchura of Seeds of Caring. She founded it. And so I wanted to find out, this is going to be a true or false question. Okay. And here's the, here's the, the statement. Seeds of Caring empowers kids to create a kinder community with their hearts, hands, and mind. All right, is that so true today or is that false? All right, the winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind. Hi, this is Keith Carlos, former NFL player, actor, and first male winner of America's Next Top Model. I got a question for you. Do you know how many dentists there are between here and Los Angeles? Well, I don't know either, but I fly over every one of them just to see Dr. Kavico on a regular basis. Check out my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on my Instagram page, at Keith Carlos. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most compassionate dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Are you tired of hearing what every business is doing to keep you safe? Well, me too, because they're all saying the same thing. Wearing masks, washing our hands often, and social distancing are the keys to keeping us healthy, and all businesses are doing that. But here at Dr. Kavitko and Associates, we do that and more. We have continuous air and surface pathogen reduction units inside our office that kill over 93% 
percent of the coronavirus and other pathogens. I bet you can't name another dental office that does that. Give us a call at 614-262-9588 or go to drkavitko.com. Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614 262 Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. We have Scott and Cherry. I think it's Sherry or Cherry. I can't remember, but we flipped the coin and it came up Scott. So, hey, Scott, how are you today? I'm good. Thank you for listening. Thank you for calling in. What is the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? That would be true. True. Had you ever heard of Seeds of Caring? Um, yes, I have. Oh, okay, isn't it cool? Isn't Dr. this really Kavitko's cool? Question of the day. Awesome. We yeah, have yeah, it really Cherry. is. So, uh, like, Cherry I didn't. I, I'm so. I just can't believe there's so many Scott. cool things. So, so many hey, neat Scott, people out there doing wonderful things. So, Scott, what do you do for a living? I work for Safe Light Auto Glass. Okay. Awesome. So you've, In the corporate office. Have you ever heard oh, of okay. Caring? In the corporate office. Make it like it never happened. Oh, we love that. Cool? <laughs> cool? Alright? Nobody likes yeah. looking at that crack in their yeah, windshield. So, uh, so I, you have a great so day, but stay on the line because we need to get the information where to send you those flowers, okay? Alright, thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye now. So, Alright, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kvitko. This is episode 673. With me okay. is Brandy awesome. Yemchura. So she founded Seeds of Caring, oh, okay. which is an organization that helps like kids find meaningful, <laughs> meaningful ways of uh, <laughs> giving back to society back. and understanding so how what it means to be kind. Day, line, In fact, Brandy, um, interestingly lives, enough, okay? uh, I was kind of up late last night. Okay. I think you know that. <laughs> and you were too. And you were. I was surprised that you, I got a response. But anyway, I even got up early this morning. And in addition to being up late, and I happened to turn on the television. There was a gentleman talking about kindness, and I thought, how perfect, because that's what we're talking about here. And he said, uh, unkindness, how did he put it? He said, kindness is power, and unkindness is, um, I'm trying to think the word he used, I'm, I'm drawing a little blank, but you understand what I'm talking about, right? Because when you're kind to somebody, you empower them, right? Absolutely. We talk to kids a lot about that, actually. We tell them that, and you know, kind said, of one of the, the uh, phrases that we'll use with our little preschool, said, preschoolers is that is kindness is a superpower. And that, you know, we is, we all uh, need help sometimes and we can all give help sometimes. And, and, and when we can step into a, to kindness right? and really kind embrace us, that is one of our superpowers, we can do so much good in the world. And you happen to be wearing a T-shirt in the photo in our slideshow that says, Kind is Cool. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's another one of the messages we want our kids to grasp is that, you know, that that's always um, that's always the way to lead. Lead forward with kindness, and and you can't go wrong. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I saw a billboard the other day. It was a while now, but it said something like, "And you happen to be, be kind. A t-shirt see what happens." Photo in our slideshow. Isn't that cool? That oh, I love that. I, cool. Yes, that is great. Um, <laughs> you know, that reminds me, Doctor Kamitko, of this. This idea of the ripple effects of kindness, I think that, you know, sometimes when we put kind acts out there and when we, um, you know, step exactly. out step out yeah, of ourselves yeah. to then, look toward others and see how we can day, possibly brighten their day or, or make their situation like, a little bit easier, kind, we never know the, the exact ripple effects that that, that will cool? create. Mm -hmm. um, and, we, and we see that with our kids. You know, we our name is really true to what we do. We plant those seeds of caring and yeah. compassion and empathy and kindness in kids in the hopes that they, you know, as they grow, those seeds also grow. And I think it's incredible to imagine what our world could be like if more kids were given those opportunities to really mm -hmm. engage in, in kindness and service from a really young age 
and what that will mean for, for our future. Right, which is actually kind of the answer to a question I was going to ask about, you know, what do you see as the results of your program? So would you say the results of your program is just a better world for everyone? Absolutely. You know, we see that kids are really empowered with this belief that they can be the change they want to see in our world. Uh, we see kids that are excited to give back and, and to be the helpers right, that our community exactly needs. Kind of the to and so, yeah, long term, you know, that translates you into you the kids program. who grow so up to lead their the businesses, their schools, their communities with a heart for service and that belief that they can always make a difference and they don't need to turn away from the things they see in the community that need um, addressed, but rather they can be part of the solution. Very cool. And I remembered uh, the other word that I could, it was escaping me a minute ago. It's uh, unkindness is weakness. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right? Because if you're kind, yep. you, you empower somebody. But if you're unkind, you're showing weakness because you're kind of like trying to make yourself feel better by making somebody else feel bad or tear somebody else down. And that's weakness. Absolutely. So, hey, we have to go to a break. Can you stay with Very me? Cool. And I remember Sure. Uh, okay. Yes, certainly. Uh, and let's, you know what? Let's give people it's, that uh, website. It's seedsofcaring.org. If somebody wants to get involved uh, in a project, if they want to donate, if they want to learn more, that's where they would go, correct? Yes, that's correct. All right. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko and Brandy M. Tura, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am, just a little bit. You're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando right. con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert. Like what you hear? <laughs> Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? Okay, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kvitko. This is episode 673 of The Reasons We Smile, and I am with Brandy Yamchura. And I just want to mention, folks, you know that I'm a dentist, and oftentimes this show is about dentistry, but it's not today. It's because the name of the show is The Reasons We Smile, and I can't imagine people making uh, more people, somebody making more people smile than uh, uh, Seeds of Caring and Brandy. So. Randy, okay, thank you for that, us, and um, Vitko, uh, I want to find out, um, when you decide you're going to do a project, and, uh, is it a Randy group decision? Do you have like a little committee, not a little committee, do you have a committee that says, here's what we, here, let's, you, let's do this because we have this specific um, outcome in mind? Sure, you know, that's a great question. We have a staff of five, parents of caring, and we do work collaboratively at times on program decisions, but, you know, we drive a lot of our programs. Number one, our nonprofit partner like needs. So, so we, we, we partner with over 40 says, nonprofits right here in Columbus, we, and um, oftentimes they'll reach out to us and they'll say, you know, we're, we're seeing this need, and and I wonder if you know your kids and your families can help, and we do everything we can to take that need, and then you know combine it with some meaningful education for the kids, um, some some empathetic reflection some opportunities for them to understand that need. Um, and then that, that's kind of how we, we craft our projects. We will also at times certainly um, think about are there needs in our community that are pressing um, that we think it's important to address with kids. So, for example, this past summer we did a series on anti-racism, um, you know, to, to really give families some tools to talk about 
um, big topics that are affecting um, kids and in our larger community. Okay, yeah, and and I, ironically, as you said that, the photograph of this young boy holding up his um, what he created for an anti-racism um, project was is visible there, and it's it's really okay. cool. So that was just really good timing that you brought that up right then, because that's the picture that's underneath you. So okay, now uh, if if um, if a parent okay, l- yeah, l- let me ask you this: what like what's the commitment? That, if I wanted, if I have uh, young kids and I want to get involved, everybody feels like they're busier than they have time for. Although I know that most people can find time uh, if they really look for it. But what's the time commitment if they want to participate? Then, that's the yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great question, Dr. So, okay. so, now, you know, uh, that's if, one if, of the um, great things about Seeds of Caring is that we make it this, really what, like, easy for families to get back together. Have, uh, the the time commitment is, is like one hour to start. You know, okay. it's, it's find one project that you want to do with your family and commit to it. They take about an hour, maybe maybe up to an hour and a half, depending on how much the kids want to discuss what they're doing and how much they really get into the project. But that is, you know, that you don't have to make a bigger commitment than that. You might choose for your family that, that it's, you know, a couple times a year that you want to do a Seeds of Caring project. Or there's families that okay. make a commitment to do one every single month. Um, you know, at any given time, we will have anywhere between 6 to 12 different projects happening. So there's lots oh, wow. of variety. And it can really be driven by you know, where, where kids' passion areas lie, too. Wow. Six to eight at going on at the same time. That sounds like a, an administrative uh, challenge, but uh, sounds like you pull it off just fine. <laughs> it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of work behind the scenes, but it's well worth it. Good. That's really good. So now, um, the, oh, wow. what's, I, I guess, what's the importance? I think we know this or maybe we don't. What's the importance for children to getting involved at, at such a young age? Wow. I mean, why so why little bitties? Why not uh, wait till they're fourteen? Like right. You know, but, uh, like you we reach fine. kids early while they're still forming their attitudes and behaviors towards others, and it's good. that's, that's so really important good. because so now, um, studies and research the, show that empathy and kindness the, I, I are learned behaviors that okay. must be taught and nurtured. What's so, the importance for children to you know, involved our kids are watching us closely, why, why and, and we have the opportunity to be really intentional about raising little humans that can see the world through another's eyes and, and can really act with compassion and kindness, but that's just very young. Yeah, and I'm going to throw in a little plug for dentistry. We've discovered that if we get children to start brushing their teeth when they're little, they wind up uh, having healthier mouths <laughs> when they grow up. So it's uh, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah, you have to catch them when they're little and uh, when they're younger, and they're open to new ideas. And I'm getting the one-minute mark um, that we have left. So let's give out the information. Tell me what you want people to know about the organization yeah, and how to reach you again so we make sure we get that in. Sure. You know, the, so I, I want people to know uh, that we welcome you to get involved, up, so to join us. Um, you know, we really thing. believe that instilling yeah, kindness and compassion in our next and, generation is one of the most important steps we can take toward a better, brighter tomorrow. So check us out at seasoncaring.org. You can register for projects right through there. You can donate and contribute to our cause or just become involved in some other capacity. Sounds great, Brandy. Thank you so much for being on my show, and thank you more for doing what you do. It's really awesome, and um, I'm so glad that we are, that we are uh, you know, paths have crossed, and that I'm aware of your your um, charity because uh, I just well, think it's super. Thank you, Doctor Kito. I, I truly appreciate it. You are very welcome. Well, looks, well, folks, it looks like that's all the time we have. My producer's nodding his Sounds head up great, and down. Thank you so, so much for being on my show. <laughs> don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kavitko. And visit my it's office really Facebook awesome. page and like us, please. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. So we Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at thereasonswesmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event... 
please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking at 